I'd like to introduce you to the 18th vote over the last two years to freeze property taxes in the state of Illinois. And yet, property taxes are not frozen. Why? Because it is a political pandering piece of garbage that is sitting before us, just like the other bills they were never meant to pass. Let's talk about HB 156, which the sponsor spoke about, which was her bill back in the spring. That bill went to the Senate and nothing happened. As you heard her talk today, she does not have a Senate sponsor for this bill. This is bill is not going anywhere, and she knows it. If this bill were to go somewhere, I'll tell you what, it does not freeze property taxes. Everybody knows that pension and debt is outside of this limit, which means that you can't guarantee every, any individual property tax owner that you're going to freeze their property taxes. It's simply untrue. This bill's a lie. Now, after she did pass her HB 156, the Daily Herald came out strongly about, with um, information, as did the Illinois manufacturers and other business groups, saying that all that her bill did was increase costs on the business community. And that's exactly what this bill does. Speaking to the $10,000 homeowner exemption that she's included in this bill, why wasn't it included when you did the first bill for Chicago that had up their homeowner's exemption in a previous bill that we just passed from 8000 to 10000 Why were we excluded then? Why was Chicago the favored son? Why were they always either included or excluded from legislation specifically? for them. Now you're trying to play catch up and leave everybody the same thing that Chicago got a few months ago. That's ridiculous. Additionally, schools on the watch list are among those that are obviously the most mismanaged and deserve and their taxpayers deserve probably the most protection from an increasing escalating property tax with uh, with uh, when they are actually still under school boards that are mismanaged. Let's look at Chicago. Chicago is massively over their, their debt limit. By 37% they're over their debt limit, and yet they're going to be exempted from this and their taxpayers are not going to feel the protections. Most importantly, this does nothing to affect the cost drivers of, um, of higher and escalating property taxes. It does nothing about government contracts that continue to dole out increasing salaries and benefits to workers. It does nothing about the local pension costs that continue to balloon. It does nothing about the unions that continue to bargain with the same power they've always had. It does nothing about unfunded mandates that continue to pile up costs in local governments. Illinoisans that continue to pay the most for, for local units of governments in the nation. Community colleges that continue to grow their expensive administrations. And public construction costs that remain at a premium. It does nothing about the cost drivers of higher and escalating property taxes. So again, you know, this will be our 18th time, I like to remember anybody who's listening, our 18th time at a minimum that we have voted in the last two years to freeze your property taxes and they're still not frozen. Vote no.